Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here doing the 100 coin star in uh, Bob on Battlefield. This one isn't quite as easy per se as uh, well, the one in Womp's Fortress. And, uh, well, I mean, it's not like overly difficult, but there's just uh, less coins. Um, most notably, it'll probably take a little longer too because a lot of them are up in the sky by the island that you have to uh, shoot uh, from a cannon to get. But uh, overall, it's not too bad. Um, I know in Wasp Fortress, I said you, you know you didn't really have to mess with most of the Goombas, but in this one, it's probably better. You don't have to kill all of them per se, but you know every uh, coin here and there that you can get uh, helps in the end when you're trying to fly through the air and get the other coins because that can be kind of frustrating. Um, also, you want to take out this Koopa. Uh, well, I'm having a little difficulty here. <laughs> there we go. Because uh, he will give you a blue coin, and well, can't really see him. The camera's kind of up. Oh. And <laughs> there we go. So he'll give you a blue coin, and there aren't too many blue coins uh, in this particular level. There's no blue coin switch or anything like that, unfortunately. So like I said, you just gotta kind of rely on the smaller enemies. Uh, there goes our shell and the red coins. Uh, for the most part, there is a super mushroom up here. Oh, no. Oh. I'll just go ahead and get these coins down here. But, uh, <laughs> um, there is a super mushroom up there where I was originally heading. And, uh, just want to say in advance that, uh, you should probably, after you get the mushroom, uh, use it to smash down the, uh, stumps. Yeah, the stumps in the area with the two red coins over there. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I get up there. I'll kind of mention it again. But I just thought I'd, uh, briefly say something about it. Because, uh, I'm. I basically don't get it here, and that kind of causes me. Yeah, the, those stumps right there, if you can see them all. There's four of them, I believe. So, they'll give you a few coins. But uh, I actually just go around and uh, hit the bomb bombs and stuff, um, which is. I mean, okay, but it like gets you a lot less coins. Uh, that will give you three coins, though. So, that's not that bad. So, yeah, I should have gone down there and hit those stumps, but instead I go after these bomb bombs. Which, like I said, isn't the worst thing, but... And I break these balls, which don't give you anything. Which is kind of depressing, because there's an awful lot of them that are coming down the mountain and stuff. Um, probably should have done this one with the uh, when I did the red coin level, but I just kind of spaced out and forgot about it. So that's why this one's separate. But from now on, uh, most of the ones, like the, the one in Womp's Fortress, will probably be done. Uh, at the same time as the, uh, oh, I don't really need that one up, because there's one down here. Uh, we'll be done at the same time as the red coin level. So, just for convenience purposes, because I mean, you're already going to have to collect pretty much all the red coins anyways, for the 100 coin star. So now, we kind of, I'm going to go ahead and get that red coin on the uh, hill there. I'm just kind of circle around. You could probably use the cannon to shoot up there, but <laughs> I'm not very good with the cannon. Oh, there is another super mushroom over here, by the way. I forgot to mention that, but it's not as useful because there's not as much stuff around here. There's no uh, stumps or anything like that. So there's just kind of a... Uh, coins are kind of sparse in this uh, particular level, other than in the sky. But, um, should I say it makes it kind of annoying because... You might have to make uh, multiple trips trying to get all the coins there in the sky if you don't get enough here on the ground. But... And yeah, I don't make it to the stumps in time. But uh, like I said, it's no big deal. I still there's still plenty in the sky to uh, get, and there's still quite a few up on the uh, up a ways on the mountain. But it's um, like I said, it can get kind of tedious towards the end. Um, probably after the, after uh, since this is the last star in Bob on Battlefield that we need. Probably don't don't take the warp by the way, because you'll pass up on all these uh, good coins. Um, the next level we'll probably do is Cool Cool Mountain, just because it's here on the same level and everything. And then after that we'll probably move on to uh, I guess Big Boo's Haunt. That way we can uh, go ahead and get Luigi and stuff, because you can't really. Uh, can't get all the Jolly Roger Bay stars just yet because we still need Luigi. But um, 
so I might as well just wait to get the rest of those until after we have Luigi. Um, yeah, so, well, this is, this is probably the most tedious part here. So I'm gonna have 60, so which I'm, I'm gonna need 40 more, and as you'll see, there's more than enough up here in the, uh, in the air, but, um, you can't, you definitely can't get them all in one, uh, go, I don't think, at least, not that I don't I highly doubt you'd probably run out of time with the wing cap before uh, you can get them all. But yeah, as you can see, there's plenty. Uh, so you just kind of gotta try to get as many as possible in each run. I kind of uh, cut away some of this. Like I don't, I don't have the whole thing in here because I mean, in all honesty, it's pretty tedious, <laughs> and I don't think people would want to watch me flying around for an extra few minutes or whatever. I mean, I think you get the point. Really, it's you're just basically, you know, you fly around, come back, and, um, you know, I usually re, uh, refresh on the wing cap there, that way, you know, you make sure you never run out while you're in the sky, and uh, as you can see, I have 96 now, so I just need four more, and I don't get them all on this go, but, uh, I went ahead and cut forward to this one just because it's close enough, I figure, and that way you can see me get the last few. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of them left, but there's just barely enough. And like I said, I, of course, that wouldn't have been such a problem had I not missed the uh, the ones from the stumps down there on the ground by the red coin star. Um, that would have given you uh, 12, I think, I believe. So, you know, you wouldn't have had nearly as much of a problem, and it would have been quite as tedious had you uh, done that. But, um, it's... Basically, since the uh, the star appears wherever you got that hundredth coin, it appears right there in the air. So you may not get it necessarily on your way back to the uh, island. However, uh, you know, you can just hop in the cannon and shoot yourself at it, which is pretty easy to do. Like I do here. And there we go. Star number 26. So easy enough. Like I said, uh, next... I'll be doing Slip Sliding Away, it's the first level I believe of Cool Cool Mountain. And uh, so I'll meet you guys in there, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.